Well, guys, the center says that homeless people in Shawnee just don't have enough places to go, and the emphasis should be on providing housing options for them. Homelessness is caused by a lack of affordable housing paired with wages that are just too low for people to pay rent. The National Homeless Law Center in Washington, D.C. doesn't think Shawnee's new no-sit, no-lie ordinance will solve anything in the city. They think this will not only do nothing to end homelessness, but further entrench people in this system of poverty. Monday night, Shawnee passed the ordinance saying they'll fine people $10 for sitting or lying down on public sidewalks or streets in the downtown area. City staff acknowledged a more permanent emergency shelter is needed, and they have a church that doubles as a shelter currently. People experiencing homelessness, by and large, are poor. They don't have $10 um, to pay a ticket. So this is this is all kinds of backwards. Shawnee staff said their goal is to make downtown safe without taking people to jail. While Rubinowitz told us he's not sure if the ordinance is grounds to file a lawsuit, given how it was written, there are similar situations nationwide that were challenged. There are certainly valid legal claims in other cities that ticketing homelessness and finding people experiencing homelessness is a constitutional violation of the Fourth Amendment. He named one recent incident on the East Coast, and he says the priority for municipalities should be providing adequate housing to get homeless people off the streets. This is a growing trend across the country. Just today um, in Florida, we got wind that they were working on a very similar scheme to ticket people for existing in public. And we learned this week that if somebody cannot pay that new fine, then it's possible a judge could order community service instead.